What's up everyone? Hope you're having a good time in small groups so far, especially my high school boy group. Let's go Andrew. I hope you're there and I hope you're enjoying the tea. Um, but anyways, as you've noticed, we've been going through a series of the haves and the have-nots. First, we talked about in the past that we have a past. And then last week, Alex talked about living in the present. And living in the present is super important because if we only look to the next big event, we only look to the next big thing in our life, we're going to miss everything that God has in store for us right now. And that's what we're going to be talking about tonight, though. God does have a future for you. And that future doesn't start five years from now, doesn't start 10 years from now. Your future starts right now. And whatever you do in this present moment is going to affect that. I know there's multiple different things that can come to mind when you think of a future. You can feel scared or feel excited. And honestly, lots of us probably feel just confused or uncertain. We're not totally sure what our future is going to look like. I don't know if you guys ever had this happen to you or not, but Lots of times that, that fear comes over us when someone comes up to us and is like, hey, what are you going to do in the future? Or what are you going to do after school? Or who are you going to be when you grow up? And there's just like this awkwardness that either we feel like we have to have an answer, like uh, I need to come up with something, or we have to feel like we say like I'm going to this specific school, I'm studying this specific degree, and we have like to have something to answer them with. And so it's kind of awkward because not all the time do we know exactly what we're going to do because we're still trying to figure it out. You probably had a parent walking towards you and in your mind you're like, I hope they don't ask. I hope they don't ask the question. And then they come up to you and they're like, hey, hey Ben, what are you, you going to do after high school? And in your mind you're just like, I've prepared for this moment. I know what I'm going to say. See, because I have a slight interest in architecture and I'm kind of good at math. So I have this plan that when she asks, I got an answer. So she says, she says she's like, hey Ben, what are you going to do after high school? And I'm like, oh, you know, I was thinking about architecture. But then they follow up and they're like, what school are you going to go to? And you're like, oh, you know, uh, Eastern, you know, it's a, it's a good college. And then they're like, I didn't know, I didn't know Eastern had an architecture program. And you're like, it, yeah. <laughs> and then it's just the worst. Those conversations are the worst. When someone comes up to you and you're like, uh, I'm not sure. And we think we have to come up with something. And I hate to do it to you. But that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. So any groups answer these two questions. What are you going to do in your future? And more importantly, who are you going to be? Those questions probably weren't easy to answer. It's a difficult thing to answer, who are you going to be? Some of you probably answered that with, oh, I'm gonna have this job, or with a profession, like I'm going to be a nurse, or I'm going to be a musician, or even maybe I'm going to be a pastor. But here's the deal. What you do does not determine who you are. What you do, what job or profession you pick, does not determine who you are. Who you are is determined by your character, is determined by God, and what God says you are is you are a child of God. You are loved by Him. You are strong in Him. You are called to a purpose in Christ, and you are called to a purpose for Christ. And that's where your future lies. That's what your future should hold. You see, God, God has given us free will. He has given us a free will so that we can be an individual being, so that we can be free to choose to love Him, and not just be one hive mind. Like God is good for giving us a will. And God is good also because He has given us a path. A path to follow that will fulfill us, that will bring us joy, and that will bring us love and community, and that will also bring others joy and love. And so you see, we have a choice and we have a path. And our choice is whether we want to follow God's path for us, a path for success, a path for goodness, He has our best interest in mind in this path. Or, if we want to choose our own path, if we think that we know best, that is our choice, to choose God's path or your own path. In Jeremiah 29 11, it tells us this, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. 
What does following the plans God has for us in our future look like? Well, it looks like listening. It looks like growing closer to God. It looks like knowing more about Him. It looks like taking the next right step, one foot in front of the other. You see, the future is just that. It's in the future. It's not yet to come. The only thing you can do for your future is to act right now, act in the present, because your future starts right now. And if you choose to turn to God, He can take your bad, even if you haven't followed Him before, even if you had resented Him before, if you cho choose to turn to God in this present moment, He can take your bad past mistakes, He can take the things you had in the past, and He can turn those things and use them for good. You see, your future is only the result of what you do in the present. You see, God has a calling for you. He is looking for you to respond. That is our, that is our duty. God is saying, I have a purpose for you. I have a plan for you. I have a calling for you. And our job is to say, God, yes, I will. Yes, I will come to that calling. Yes, I will follow what you have to say. Yes, I will listen to you. When God says, do this, I'll say, yes, I will. That, that is what it looks like to follow God's future for you. That is what it looks like to come into your calling. That's how you can have a godly future. You want to say, in God, I will follow your path. So here's the deal. We have a future. And God has a plan for us. God has a path for us with greatness and our best interests in mind and the interests of others in mind. And we have a choice to follow or not to follow. Let's pray. God, I thank you for the students here tonight. God, I thank you that you do have a plan for us, God, that we are not hopeless, Jesus, that you have a plan for us to love others, God, for us to serve you, Jesus. And I just thank you that we're not here for no point, God. And God, I just thank you to have community. And I just pray that we'll be blessed in whatever we choose to do when we follow you, Jesus. In your name I pray. Amen. All right, that's it for me, guys. Thank you, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. See ya!